Hi, I'm Dr. Aditi Gurmangula, Child Specialist from Mumbai. In today's video, let's look at newborn baby's massage. Baby massage involves stroking a baby's body in gentle and rhythmic strokes with hands. Massaging your baby aids in the release of the feel-good hormone, also known as oxytocin, in your baby and you. The release of oxytocin helps in generating a feeling of love and warmth. A full-term newborn baby's skin is mature enough to withstand life outside the uterus but becomes comparable to adults by one year of age. The skin is thinner and hence a higher risk of dryness. Dry skin is common the first few months of baby's life. Massage can help with the dryness. Benefits of Massage Massaging helps in improving blood circulation and gastrointestinal functions. It also has physiological benefits for your baby, which includes improved breathing. It relaxes the baby. By calming the nervous system, massaging helps your baby's colic and sleep problems. Massaging also relaxes the baby's muscles and provides nourishment to the skin. Massaging is one of the most effective ways of bonding with your little one. As well massaging your baby, you get to spend some intimate moments with him. It also helps you to understand the needs of the baby. Massaging the tummy of your child helps to ease various stomach problems like constipation, gas and colic. Massaging is an excellent way of getting to know your newborn baby and you also get confident in handling your baby. Spending time with your baby helps you in getting cues about your baby's needs and requirements. It helps them develop mentally. Tactile touch helps in body awareness and also babies love it. There are asserted myths associated with baby massage. Baby massage does not make a baby fairer. It does not remove lanuko hair and it does not help to make the bones get stronger. Research is still needed regarding the claim. Now, let's look at the massage lubricants you can use. You can use topical oil or a moisturizing lotion and creams for massaging the child. If you're using oil, use the one which is edible and the one which does not have a very strong odor. Oils as such do not do much and acts as a lubricant to decrease the friction between the hands and the child's body. Coconut oil is a good option. It gets absorbed into the skin. You can also use baby oil. Avoid using mustard oil, olive oil, almond oil or peanut oil. They may harm the skin barrier and might cause allergies. Also avoid scented oils or essential oils as they can too be concentrated or harsh on the baby's skin. Test the oil on the small spot of your baby's skin and wait a day to make sure no irritation appear. When to start massaging a newborn baby? There is no particular time. You can start touch therapy as soon as a child is born. In the first few weeks, use slow and positive strokes, not spending too much time on one area. Newborn babies may find their senses overstimulated and most will seek solace in the arms of their parents for the first few weeks and some may just want a gentle stroke down their backs over their clothes. After the first few weeks of birth, you can begin massaging your baby. However, make sure to follow your baby's mood. Your baby should be calm, alert and content when you're ready to give them a massage. Never perform any massage technique that makes your child uncomfortable. The best time to give massage to your baby would be when your baby is not hungry, sleepy or tired. You may choose any time of the day for the massage, morning or evening. Baby massage is an efficient way of getting your baby into the routine of bathing, feeding and sleeping. You can massage your baby with everything removed or just the diaper on in case of an emergency. It is recommended to follow a massage routine by doing the things in a similar order every day. This is because your baby loves predictability and developing a routine will help your baby to know what is going to happen next. The predictability also gives your baby a sense of security and happiness. There are a certain things that you need to keep in mind while massaging your baby. Do not wrap the baby too hard. Massage with gentle but firm hands. Avoid oil initially. Use moisturizing lotion. Don't tickle the baby when you massage them. Don't massage the baby if the child has fever. Don't massage during or immediately after a feed. After a bath is the best time. Do not massage directly over a wound or an incision. 
but around the area that hurts promotes healing. So, how to massage a baby? Sessions start with two phases of tactile stimulation before the final phase of kinesthetic stimulation. The first phase includes placing the baby in a prone position and providing 12 strokes of 5 seconds each, each administered from the head through the neck and shoulder to the buttock. The second phase includes placing the baby in a supine position and providing 12 strokes of 5 seconds each, administered from the face through the cheeks, chest, abdomen, upper limbs, lower limbs, palms and down to the soles of the feet. These two phases are followed by a third phase of kinesthetic stimulation, providing flexion and extension to the major joints. You can start massaging the baby from head to feet or the other way round, whichever is comfortable to you and the baby. So let's see how it is done. We'll start from the head. Let's start with massage of head and face. Cradling your baby's head in both hands, massage the scalp with your fingertips as if you're shampooing. Avoid the fontanel, the soft spot on top of the baby's head. Massage her ears between your thumbs and index fingers. Trace a heart shape on your baby's face, bringing your hands together at the chin. Place your thumbs between your baby's eyebrows and stroke out. Again with your thumbs, stroke gently over the baby's closed eyelids. Stroke from the bridge of the nose out over to the cheeks. Using your fingertips, massage the jaw in small circles. Chest Place both hands over your baby's chest and stroke outwards from the sternum to her shoulders. Beginning at her sternum, trace a heart shape bringing both hands up to her shoulders, then down and back together. In a crisscross pattern, stroke diagonally from one side of your baby's hip up and over to the opposite shoulder and back down to her hip. To massage your baby's tummy, hold your hand so your pinky's edge can move like a paddle across your baby's belly. Starting at the base of her rib cage, stroke down with one hand then the other in a paddle wheel like motion. Massage her abdomen with your fingertips in a circular clockwise motion. Do the I love you stroke. Trace the letter I down your baby's left side. Then trace an inverted L stroking across the belly along the base of her ribs from her right side to her left side and down. Trace an inverted U stroking from low on the baby's right side up and around the navel and down to the left side. Walk your fingers around her navel clockwise. Hold the knees and feet together and gently press knees up towards her abdomen. Rotate baby's hips around a few times from the right. This helps to expel the gas. Place hand on tummy horizontally and rock your hand from side to side a few times. Avoid massaging tummy if the cord hasn't completely healed. Massage the arms with one hand, hold baby's wrist, relax her upper arm by tapping it slightly. Hold her wrist with one hand and hold your other hand in a C shape around baby's upper arm, stroke from her shoulder down to her wrist. With each hand grasping her arm, one right above the other, stroke down from shoulder to wrist with both hands rotating in opposite directions as if you are gently ringing a travel. Massage her palm, moving thumb over thumb from heel of her hand to her fingers. Stroke down top of hand from wrist to fingertips, gently squeezing and pulling each finger. Massage her wrist by moving your fingers in small circles. Rotate. Roll her arm between both your hands. Back. Place baby on tummy horizontally in front of you or lay her across your outstretched legs. Keep her hands in front of her and not at her sides. With both of your hands on baby's back, move each hand back and forth keeping them going in opposite directions from the base of the neck to her buttocks. 
hold your baby's buttocks with one hand and use the other to stroke down from her neck to her buttocks. Using your fingertips, massage in small circles down one side of the baby's spine and up the other. Avoid pressing on her spine directly. Massage her shoulders with small circular motions. Massage her buttocks with big circular motions. Holding your fingers like a rake, stroke down her back. For the legs, lift one of her legs by the ankle and relax it by slightly tapping the upper thigh. Hold her ankle with one hand and hold your other hand in a C-shaped thumb down. Around your baby's upper thigh, stroke from her thigh down to the foot. With your left with your hands grasping the leg at a high, one right above the other, stroke down from hip to foot with one hand, rotating in opposite directions as if you're rigging a towel. On the sole of her foot, use a thumb over thumb motion to massage from heel to toes. Use your whole hand to stroke the bottom of her foot from heel to toe. Stroke the top of her foot, gently squeezing and pull each toe. Massage round her ankle using small circles. Roll her leg between your hands as if you were rolling down.